Hey guys, it's Mediocre Pie here. What you're looking at is my newest purchase. Opened this up yesterday. I was way too excited to do an unboxing, so uh, unfortunately, you guys didn't get to see it, me open it. But here it is, Wicked Edge Field and Sport. Been waiting on this for a couple weeks now, and super excited. Definitely have to blame channels like Jay Davis and uh, Smoke Eater 908 for making me buy one of these. But uh, so far. I'm not too impressed with my results, but hey, I'm still learning, and uh, hopefully they improve. If not, uh, I'll be kind of disappointed in this one, but already found a couple issues. Uh, there's a lot of play in this little joint right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, so I don't know if that's going to amount to much. Um, already, there's a lot of scraping on the, uh, the clamp here because I have hit it quite a few times. Um, especially especially on the uh, innermost settings it's pretty much useless um, when you have your stones here sorry for all the shaking uh, because you hit that stupid bolt right there if you don't hit that bolt you hit the clamp unless you have a uh, three inch tall cleaver so um, pretty much that innermost setting is useless um, I found that the 16 degree setting is uh, works on most knives that are, you know, at least um, an inch above the clamp. So other than that, you really can't sharpen small knives unless you want to go all the way out to a uh, like a 30 degree per side um, setting, which I don't really want on pretty much most of my knives. But I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll call call up Wicked Edge and see what they have to say. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. But uh, if you guys have any tips or tricks. Um, this one does not come with the little edge, or the depth guide, depth gauge. It's pretty much just stick it in there, and there's a little shelf um, that matches it out. So um, on your smaller knives, you know it's going to be way too deep, and then you're going to hit the clamp. That's why I find I have to put it up higher. Also, there's no um, uh, gauge for how far in or out you can put it. So pretty much repeatability is not so good on this um, as far as clamping it down you just kind of have to guess where you put it so uh, maybe I'm doing it all wrong and there's a actually a better way but there's in terms of instructions it's really really basic um, it just pretty much says how to set it up and everything It doesn't really cover very much so maybe I'll check out Clay's website but if any of you have any tips or tricks for uh, beginning uh, using this Wicked Edge uh, let me know. Uh, I know the uh, the full version is a little bit more comprehensive and uh, easier to use, I guess, as far as repeat repeatability goes. But like I said, I'm brand new to this, so maybe I'm just doing it wrong, and I'll finally figure it out and then get an amazing edge. But as far as it goes, um, I've just been getting about the same uh, sharpness as I get on my Sharp Maker. Um, which is, you know, it's okay. It shaves hair, but it's not amazing. Um, I can cut that thin phone book paper pretty easily, but uh, I can't really push cut phone book paper. So, anyhow, thanks for watching. Uh, still kind of excited to get a different sharpening system. I like I said, I really hope I can learn this and get good at it, so then I can um, really get some wicked edges. So, anyhow, thanks for watching and uh, appreciate any feedback and comments I can get. See you.